Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia and today I'm going to talk about how I make use of the new automation curves control in Personas Studio One 3. Let's dive right into it. Now automation curves, you're going to first of all want to access the automation lane and that's up here top left hand corner show automation this little button right here it's right next to the marker track icon you can also show it by pressing the a uh, key on your keyboard so i'm going to show the automation lane so now i'm looking at automation so now i'm looking at automation but i'm not yet seeing anything i'm taking a look at the track inspector here on the left hand side and you'll notice that i now have a section which when I have automation selected is going to say display off. I'm going to click this pull down menu and select, let's just use volume for this bass track. Now I see a blue line now that represents the volume control on this bass track. Now any of the changes that I make here will allow me to change the volume of this track. Now I can just quickly enter new changes by clicking on this blue line to create a node and then grabbing that little node and dragging it and changing it around but let's say i want to get a little more complex with that i can make use of the draw tool and that's up here in the top again tool section of the tools in studio one three and i'm going to left click and hold down on that and i'm going to see some different options freehand line parabola square triangle saw sign and transform now we'll talk about transform in a second because that's actually pretty cool um, I'm gonna start by just making use of line now line pretty straightforward it allows me to draw automation lines I also have the option to use parabola now parabola allows me to do fine curves that's something that's very new square is going to allow me to draw square waves essentially Triangle, very much the same, except I'm drawing triangle curves. Saw, again, very much the same, but I'm drawing saw curves. And you can see I can drag upwards or downwards to change the direction of these. I can drag left and right to create more or less. And then I have sine, and this is going to allow me to create sine wave curves so lots of curves that I can make use of here now each of these is going to be movable I can grab one of these and I can move it around without all of those selected I can grab just one node and I can edit that node if I want to so I can be very very specific about the things that I'm doing here and I have all these different curves that I can now make use of now in addition to all those different curves, I also have the option to use the transform tool. That's at the bottom of this menu right here. I'm going to select transform. Transform looks a lot like the range selection tool. It's a little crosshair. But what I'm going to do is with the transform tool selected, I'm going to left click hold and just drag and select some of the automation curves that I have right here. So now I get this yellow box. Now what does this do? Well this allows me to actually transform these automation curves. So I can shrink them down, down, down. I can make them much larger. I can shrink from the left and from the right as well allowing me to quickly resize. So if you've ever wanted to be incredibly in-depth about the uh, automation curve control that you use in Studio One, you now have that option. Uh, and once you're done making use of all these edits, of course, and using the transform tool and etc., cetera, uh, you can just go back and disable the automation track. And all of those automation changes are going to be reflected in the playback. Now you will want to make certain that you have the read option selected on this track. This is the automation mode. Read means that the automation will be read by Studio One as it follows along those lines that you were drawing. You also have other options here such as touch, latch, and write. And these are all going to depend on how it is that you're going to be programming your automation. Um, now writing will allow you to write automation. Latch will make the automation uh, snap back up to the location that it was at before you entered the automation. This is useful for those of you who might be using automated fader or uh, motorized fader controls. It allows you to move that fader down then let go of it and it'll bounce back up to where it was before that. 
touch will allow you to just quickly apply quick changes so that allows you to go up on a fader down on a fader this is something that folks will use very often when they're sitting there with a motorized fader control and adding uh, that fader uh, automation to that track but when you're done creating automation you always want to go back into read mode make sure to not leave yourself in write mode because if you leave yourself in write you're gonna overwrite what you've done and that's no good so go back into read mode and you'll be all set to use all of that automation that you have entered into the track that you're working with and of course all that automation can be all of those cool new automation curves that you're able to make use of now in Studio One at 3. So you go guys, that is the new automation curves, curve control, and features in Studio One 3. I hope you found it useful and cool. And as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to be in touch with me and all of the great trainers here at Obedia because we're here to help you seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, including Studio One 3 and every everything that Personas makes. That's what we do best here at Obedia. So as guys, I am Brian with Obedia, and I want to thank you for tuning in, and until next time, happy music making to you, and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.